right, so today I'm gonna to tell you all about highlighting and contouring and what products to use. Do you use a cream or do you use a powder, all right? You could use both, it's really preference. And highlight and contour does not have to be hard. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Now, we have a sculpting trio. It comes in three different colors, light, medium, and dark. It is um, highlight and contour for beginners, I guess. Okay, so this is the light palette and it has a picture exactly where you're gonna highlight and contour. You're gonna put the dark part, contour is anywhere it's dark, where you wanna recede, you want that chiseled out, you wanna look like you lost five pounds, okay? That's contour, that's where you wanna put the dark part. Then it has a picture of exactly where you're gonna place this product, which is the highlight, and, and this is even more of a shimmer. This is your glow, okay? And you literally just need to use your finger to, you, to do this one, all right? I'm not gonna sh demonstrate this palette because it's very self-explanatory, and it will even come with a pamphlet that shows you exactly where to place everything. The only thing is, is I do recommend if you do purchase this sculpting trio, that you do get the contour brush because it's perfect. It literally helps you. Now, when you're doing the contour part, you do not want to go all the way down to your face. You just want it to stop right here. All right, now, I'm gonna show you a different way how you could also highlight and contour. Now, you can highlight and contour with different products. I'm gonna show you how you could highlight and contour with BB cream. And I'm also gonna show you how you could do the same thing with concealers, all right, our liquid concealers. And don't forget, I know this is confusing, but you could also use these as well, all right, the Mineral Touch Cream and Powder. So, and I also like to use this one. These, this is our powder concealer. So I'm gonna show you two of my favorite ways that I personally like to highlight and contour. Now. And I do it for different reasons, all right? But my most favorite, favorite way to highlight and contour is I'm going to use a BB cream and I'm going to use a powder, all right? And I'm not using a shimmer powder, it's just a matte powder. But let's do the highlight first. Where are you gonna highlight? Now, where's my, okay, I'm gonna take a concealer brush. I, take, I use my concealer brush, which is a brush like this. You can use anything you want to apply. Now where do you want to highlight? You want to highlight underneath your eye like this. You don't want to just, if you're really tired too, you don't want to just get right underneath there. You kind of want to go like a V. You want to go down like a V. So if it looks like an upside down triangle, okay? Again, remember, BB cream is just a tinted moisturizer, so this is light. If you want more coverage, I would suggest doing this, and I do this sometimes also, I use concealer. Now, the concealers you can use, if you have blemishes and if you have um, breakouts, Match your skin, use the same color concealer, put cover your blemish, then you're gonna put your base face, your foundation on, okay? That's how you can use these concealers. Now, you can also use them to highlight and contour. So the same thing I'm doing in the BB cream, pick one to two shades lighter. So when you're highlighting contouring, the highlight part needs to be one to two shades lighter than your actual foundation color. If you see, this is way too light for me, right? That's okay, don't worry, we are going to be blending it up. So I'm just, and you see I'm giving myself that lift. You don't have to, but the older we get, the more we want that lift, all right? Now, where else are you gonna highlight? You're gonna highlight down the bridge of your nose, and up here, just a little up here. Okay, now, you guys, I have a very large forehead. I don't want to be highlighting. I don't want to emphasize. Highlighting is you're bringing forward. You, you, you're you emphasizing. I don't want to emphasize that huge forehead. Okay, so if you have a big forehead, you're going to want to use more of the contour, less of the highlight. If you have a very small forehead, you may want to put more of the highlight up here, okay? So 
that's where you want to highlight you also want to highlight right here this area here that's called your cupid's bow you want to just highlight in this area and you also want to highlight a little bit down here if you have a very large chin you want a small amount if you have a small chin you may want to make it a little more okay so that's where you're going to highlight right now where are you going to contour now you can also use the BB cream to contour all right I'm going to show you the what I like to do is I like to take this is called um, concealer but it's the powder concealer that we have that's how I like to contour and I'll show you ooh, where's my brush that I like I like to use this blusher brush or any blush any brush with an angle that's what I like to use to contour remember a little product goes a long way with our products it's all mineral based you just need a little now where are you going to contour? Anywhere you want to recede, sink in, look smaller, okay? You want that um, chiseled look. Suck it in. Do not go all the way down. You kind of want to start right here. Okay? Whoa. All right, that was a lot. <laughs> I put too much. Don't worry, because if you put too much, you can always fix it. That's the best thing about makeup. All right. There's like way too much. I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, guys, I couldn't figure out what I'm doing wrong. So it comes in a powder. I normally put it like this, and then I dip it into the brush. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Okay, so now what I like to do also is I put some up here on my forehead. The other place you're going to do is your chin. You want to contour and chisel out that neckline, okay? You do want to make sure it is blended down good. Make sure you have very good lighting. Another thing is, is lighting is so, so key. Now, I'm going to blend this in first, and then I'm going to show you how you can contour out your nose, all right? Now, what I like to do is, first I like to do my blending bud, and I am going to spray it again with rose water or wet it, and what you're going to do is you're just going back and forth like this, and you're just tapping the highlight into your face. That's all I'm doing. This, this process does take a little long, so if you're in a rush, I would probably recommend doing the Sculpting Trio. If you have the time to do this, then this is totally worth it. Or if you want to just do like an evening out look, highlighting and contour does take a little bit more time. Don't be scared of it, okay? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. All right, so that's about where, how I blend that part. Now, I'm going to take a powder puff brush, all right? And now you're just buffing it into your skin. I'm doing circular motions and I'm pressing it into my skin. Up here, I'm going into the hairline. And the same thing here. Can you see that chisel? You can already see a little bit of a definition there. All right, now, up here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying to do circular motions. All right, now, what you can do, so that's how you're gonna blend it all in. Now, what I like to do for my nose, and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, if you have, let's just go like a brush like this. If you have a wider nose up here you don't want to bring attention to that wider nose okay so you want to contour it anywhere you want to bring smaller you want to contour so I would let's say your nose is wider up here right uh, you're going to want to use the contour which is the dark up here and you may want to if it's smaller here you may want to use more of the highlight okay anywhere it's you want to make smaller 
use dark contour. Anywhere you want to make bigger, use highlight. It's pretty easy. Now with my nose, and typically you want to darken here and here, and, down, and the highlight is down the ridge of your nose. If you can see, my nose is a little crooked, so I like to fix it. So I'm sorry, I need to use this. Wait, I can't hold it at the same time. Okay. So this is typically how I like to contour my nose. And again, I like to use a powder. You could use a cream. You could use whatever you want. Now up here, you want to bring it to a tip. You want to bring it to a point. And I'm using a very, very fine tipped, this is a steel up brush. It's just an old brush I had. You also want to just go across the nose like that. All right, look at that cute little button nose, right? Now, I just take an old brush that I have. Let me just move my mirror. I take an old brush that doesn't even have a name, but it looks like this. And now here what I'm doing is I'm going here and I'm also bringing it down. Can you see that? So the dark part I'm bringing down a little. All right, I'm trying to be quick for you guys. Okay, so do you see that? How it just completely changed my look. You can go back and highlight. You can put your highlight again up here. The other thing that you can do with the Sculpting Trio, bye! The other thing that you can do with the Sculpting Trio, see here how it has the shimmer? Where do you wanna put your shimmer? You wanna put the shimmer part right here on the apples of your cheek, right up here on the very highest part and a little bit like that, that's where you're gonna put that shimmer, that glow, that J-Lo glow. Little here. If you don't have this palette and you wanted a shimmer, we have some eye pigments that work wonderful for that. We have a splurge cream shadow in the color Elegant that would work perfect right here. We also have eye shadows um, that you could use Curious, Angelic, would look wonderful also, just to give you a little bit of that shimmer. The other place you can put a little bit of a shimmer is here. And a tiny bit there, all right? Now, I do like to blend it. Just because I don't like mine so drastic. Um, and you would just blend it a little better. So again, if you have any questions how to highlight and contour, this is pretty much the basic of it and I went a little bit more in depth. It doesn't have to take you this long, but I wanted to take time to explain it to you. Happy highlighting and contouring.